Thank you, Jesus, for this meal. Let's eat. Yes. Amen. Still, still, For this recipe, you'll need two packs of 12 ounce crawfish tails, one bunch of green onion, one reserve, the tips reserved for garnishing, one cup of parsley chopped, one green pepper, one onion, and four stalks of celery all chopped, two cups of rice, seven cloves of garlic chopped, butter, creole seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, your oil, chicken stock, and flour. All right guys, so I've added two and a half cups of oil. I'm gonna start off with two cups of flour. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this to a nice dark peanut butter brown. And this is the process we call making our root. All right, now that it's a nice peanut butter brown, we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings that we chopped. Go ahead and lower your pot just a little bit because you want this to just simmer in here. We're gonna add just half of our garlic because we're gonna save the rest for the end. Add a little bit of this parsley, not much. There you go. And some of your green onions. And we're gonna mix all this in together. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and season my seasonings. We have our Creole season. Our onion powder. And now your garlic powder. All right, now it is thickened and our seasoning Everything is combined, our seasoning, our chopped seasons, onion powder, our garlic powder, our Creole season. We're gonna go ahead and add our chicken stock in. If you prefer to use seafood stock, you can. I just like this flavor of the chicken stock. And then I'm gonna also fill this up halfway with some water and add water as well. Go ahead and mix this in and we're gonna let it come to a boil. So let's give it 15 minutes and we'll come back once it starts boiling. All right guys, so this has been boiling for about 20 minutes. I took that time to wash my rice and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put that on right after I add the crawfish tails. So, here you go. Nice. Roots we have here. So this is the time that I ask you to taste your sauce just to see if that flavor that you're looking for, that nice Creole spicy flavor is there. So I'm gonna just get a little spoon and taste a little bit. Blow it. Yeah. These a little more Creole seasoning. And I didn't mention I'm gonna go ahead and add a little black pepper as well. Now this next part is optional, but I'm gonna add two caps of crab boil. One, two. Go ahead and mix that in. And this is the step where we're gonna add our crawfish tails. Well, let me just taste it one more time. Perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and add both of our packs of crawfish tails. Go ahead and mix that in. Now if you want, if you prefer, prefer more crawfish, 
Then gravy, you can cut the flour and the root, the flour and the oil in half. So you can do maybe um, a half a cup of flour to a half a cup of oil, or a cup of flour to a cup of oil, um, and then that'll be able to give you more meat, more crawfish tails instead of more gravy. Or you can just add three packs. So we'll let that cook, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drop in the bay leaf. And we'll let that cook for another 10, maybe 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add our final ingredients to our crawfish etouffee. Yummy. If you like, you can go ahead and skim some of these oils off the top. Go around and skim those all off and the extra oil. Got crawfish A to fade. Add the remainder of your parsley. Your garlic. and your green onions. Go ahead and mix that all in there. Maybe we shouldn't have added the extra green onions, but I forgot to add it while I was cooking and I didn't want them to go to waste, so I went ahead and threw it in there. You can let it cook for a few minutes just so that they can get a little bit softer. But I think we could have did without the extra green onions, but hey, it's there now, so. And guys, there you have it. Crawfish etouffee and blackened fish. All right, let's get cooking. This is my favorite part, y'all. Let's eat. Nah. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this food. As I eat it, I ask that you give me the nourishing nutrition that my body needs, Lord. Thank you for the strength to prepare this meal. Thank you, Jesus, for this meal. Well, my mom was here, I was laughing. Y'all food ready? I sure did, and I'm eating. Well, thanks for joining me. I enjoy cooking. Please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bon appetit. It's a vibe.